Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan have been arrested in Romania. In fact, their residence has been raided and we are learning more as the story develops. So in the coming days, I'm sure we're gonna have more details about this. But they have been accused of trafficking women, of holding them captive against their will. And the investigation continues. Apparently, the authorities were investigating the Tates because they have been allegedly trafficking multiple women. According to reports, the investigation first began when the US Embassy in Romania got a tip in April that the Tates were holding a US citizen at their home against her will. The authorities searched the Tates' home and have found the that women there as well as another woman who was trafficked. So the woman who they initially found out about was in fact there. And there was an additional woman there who alleges that she was also trafficked. Now, I'm gonna read you from a translated, translated statement or translated report, I should say, from Romania. It's based on Google Translate, so it might be a little cumbersome. But nonetheless, this is what we know based on local reports from Romania. The police say that the injured persons were allegedly recruited by brothers Andrew and Tristan, Tristan Tate, who misled them that they wanted a marriage slash cohabitation relationship and that they had real feelings of love for them. The women were allegedly later transported and housed in buildings through acts of physical violence and mental coercion, intimidation, constant surveillance, control of control of basically just control of them and where where they go, whether they can leave or not. They were sexually exploited by the group's members by forcing them to perform pornographic acts in order to produce and disseminate. So they were filming them in pornographic acts in order to sell, I guess. That's what the allegation is here. Through social media platforms, materials having such a character and by submitting to the execution of a work in a forced manner. So basically, the women in question are alleging that they've been trafficked by the Tate brothers. And that's what this investigation is about. Now, why is it that they're only being investigated today? Similar accusations have been floating around for quite some time now. And it turns out that when Andrew Tate decided to go after Greta Thunberg, he ended up telling on himself. Authorities were waiting to see if they could find his exact location. They didn't know whether he was actually in Romania or not. So let's take a look at this tweet from Alejandro Caballero, who says, or Caballo, who says, Romanian authorities needed proof that Andrew Tate was in the country, so they reportedly used his social media posts. His ridiculous video yesterday featured a pizza from a Romanian pizza chain, Jerry's Pizza, confirming he was in fact in the country. This is absolutely epic, and I totally agree with her take there, Cenk. So uh, this is amazing. Look, uh, Tate's a douche, and that is acknowledged by nearly everyone except his fans. Um, and and actually, his fans like him for being a douche, so even they acknowledge it. Uh, but you're allowed to be one, and so he runs this uh, cheesy webcam business. It uh, feels exploitive. Uh, I get it if you hate him for it, uh, but you're allowed to run a webcam business. Uh, he has said that uh, women who get raped, uh, that they're partly responsible for it. He just can't be a worse guy. He's just the most awful guy you've ever heard of, right? Uh, but that's not illegal. But holding women against their will is definitely illegal. And it is, right. and, and bringing them in from other countries on false promises and then kidnapping them and forcing them into sex work is about as illegal as it gets. That's sex trafficking, human trafficking. And this dude is rightfully in a world of trouble. Yeah, and, and in regard to his webcam business, uh, there are allegations that the women, some of the women at least, have been forced to perform in those webcam performances. And obviously, they're pornographic in nature. So I'm guessing the report that I read from earlier was referring to that. Um, I also wanted to talk a little more about that scam webcam business. So according to a report by the Mirror earlier this year, 
Callis, Tristan, and Andrew Tate admit their business is a total scam, but say the authorities cannot stop them. They claim to run a studio where 75 lingerie clad models take calls from fans paying $4 a minute. Punters can ask for private shows and pay for tips at their own risk. Some women will claim that they have crippling university debt, a family member in need of private health care, or a dream of moving to the UK, sometimes even telling men they want to meet them. And it turns out that some, if not all, of the women involved were doing so, again, against their will. So I have some more details about this, again, translated from local reports out of Romania. But I wanted to get some more of your thoughts, Cenk. I mean, look, it's this is why it's so important for progressives and broadly speaking, the left to offer an alternative to all of these grifters who reach out to disillusioned, discouraged young men who might feel alienated, who might feel lonely. Because if we don't do it, people like Andrew Tate and you know, to a lesser degree, Jordan Peterson. I mean, I don't think, I think Jordan Peterson is a little crazy, but I don't think he's a criminal. They're the ones who offer support to these guys. And we don't want that. That's a really bad idea. Yeah, look, I'm gonna tell you something super depressing about that. My kids are 10 and 12 and they've heard of Tate. Oh my God. And and so the fact that it's filtering down to even kids like that is gross. And tons of right wingers and young boys who don't, you know, who. Just haven't been around enough. One of our members wrote, and I agree with him. Like, hey, this is this is indoctrinating people into believing in old, stupid things that they used to teach us, right? And that sucks. And that we we thought we were past, but no, they're bringing back all this uh, awful ideas. Uh, and my kids do partly know him as the guy who got clowned by their cousin Hassan Abi. <laughs> okay, but but that's not why they knew heard about him. They heard about him because through the grapevine of of the short videos, et cetera, et cetera. So my point there is it is a toxic poison that is spreading in the culture that a guy this despicable is has a tons and tons of fans and viewers and, and people fighting uh, that like him online. And and it's that's discouraging for sure. Although Greta Thunberg uh, also set him straight. Uh, and, and by the way, uh, this I don't know if you've got this one, Anna, but the the scam that they run, how they lure them into Romania. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, it's disgusting. Yes, yeah, so let me uh, again read to you from a report that was translated uh, from Romania. The Romanian authorities uh, learned that the Tates had a video chat studio, which operated in a building located approximately 500 meters from their villa. Um, now, several young women were found there. The young women from America stated. Uh, or the young woman, I should say, from America stated that she met Tristan Tate through a social network and he seduced her and convinced her to buy a plane ticket and come to Romania. She allegedly abandoned her boyfriend and came to live with the British millionaire, uh, but found herself threatened and forced to work as a video chat model. Frightened, she contacted her ex-boyfriend who in turn notified the US Embassy in Bucharest. So uh, that is how the the tip came about. Uh, It had to do with an American citizen who traveled there under false pretenses. Um, She was lied to. A former policewoman was allegedly in league with the Tates and was also arrested. She is accused of, in addition to working side by side with the rest of the models, putting pressure on the girls held in the studio against their will. So for all the young men out there who look up to Tate and think that he's super cool. Just understand that when he's in those videos surrounded by women, it's very likely that those women are there by force. Uh, So there's nothing cool about that. There's nothing desirable about a guy like Andrew Tate. Uh, He's unattractive physically, mentally, emotionally, he's a bad guy. And you shouldn't be looking up to him, you shouldn't be inspired by him. He is very likely a criminal. And someone who preys on vulnerable women. Yeah, and look, no one looks great in this story. And the way that they got that particular woman to go to Romania is doesn't speak well of anyone, including her. But just because somebody left their boyfriend to go pursue a rich guy, doesn't mean you get to kidnap them and force them into sex work. That's insane and deeply criminal. 
I have to say things like that because I guarantee you there are guys out there right now saying, oh, she had a gunman. Uh. No, nobody has <laughs> kidnapping and sex trafficking coming to them. That's insane. I can't believe we live in a society where I have to clarify that. By the way, get a load, of course, of the irony of the right wing who claim that they're so against human trafficking, largely supporting Tate throughout his entire career. Uh, and and it's and then and then by it's the way, okay who's when they do it. Them? It's okay when they do it, Jenk. Yeah, of course. And the person fighting against them, of course, we have Haas has. Uh, Greta Thunberg recently has, uh, somebody wrote it on Super J, Lizzie Bennett said, ever since Tate tweeted at Thunberg, he's been getting a series of L's lately, keep them coming. Yeah, I guess he effed around and he found out. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.